Hi lovely people, here I am in Italy, in Piemonte, in a beautiful farm which is called Colombara. It belongs to my very good friend Maria Nava and Piero, which is the whole rant that is all rice field. They have the best rice in the world. Yes, they are. And I'm gonna make it such a simple recipe. I'm gonna make an agro dolce, sweet and sour peppers. Look at that. These peppers, I bought them in a Torin market in Piazza Palazzo, I could not help. They're so sweet, they're so beautiful, and so simple to do. The ingredient is garlic, olives, and capers, and a little bit of vinegar. So what I do it, cut them in half. Have you never seen anything like this? Come on, I'm only gonna do half, then I'm gonna remove it from inside. Just open, and look at that, no wastage. And then you cut them in half, and then again, move them on the side, hardly any wastage. Now you got lovely papers, so you cut them about half inch thick. If there is a little bit more white, you remove it, and then again, you keep carrying. And I got olives, some fantastic capers, those who came from Salina, beautiful island in the Mediterranean, in Sicily. And I'm going to garlic, just cut it. Now, olive oil, hot, but don't burn. Yeah! Just a nice bit of olive oil inside. Then you put the papers inside. That's all. You crush the garlic with the skin. Look, it's with the skin on, but it's crushed. Just put them inside. I will have a two. Because if you don't like the garlic, you can always remove it. Just goes inside. Ten olives, maybe five. Straight in. Tablespoon of the capers. Just put them in. Stir it. And let it cook till it's softer. Okay, let me stir it. You see the color is nice. Everything is really good. Now, if you can get the bread like this, it's easy to cut it. Put them in a half. I used to put them on the griddles, wrap a bit of garlic on top, drizzle with olive oil. That was the perfect the bruschetta. Or, in Tuscany, also where I come from in the Malfi Coast, if you had any bread, you would not have thrown it away. You would have made bread crumbs or you lay it out in the sun for three days. Every evening, you bring them in and you turn over. They will become panna biscottata, like a biscuit bread, which lasts for a long time. You made a soup, you put them inside. You made a kind of a filling, and then you put all this inside. Okay, let's have a look. You can see. Yes. Oh. You see, when you start to get these lovely colors, that means they're ready. Don't be afraid after there is some sticky stuff because you get some lovely vinegar. About here, you need about three tablespoons of vinegar. Oh, my, my. Come to have a look. Come inside. Come to have a look. The oily, the garlic, the capers. See the way they deglaze it? Switch everything off. Oh, the smell is unbelievable. Brace a little bit more oil on top. Bit of salt. Just a little tiny salt. Oh my gosh. Oh my my. Leave this one out. There's one plate and two plates. First of all, I need this little bit of juice. Come inside here, yeah, let me show you. This is the best. It's lovely juice all inside. Gets nice. 
papers. A few olives and a garlic. Put them on the side. I don't need anything else. I just want to give him all this juice. The vinegar, the olive oil, the garlic, the papers, which have got that sweetness. To be or not to be, to eat or not to eat, too late. Paradise. It tastes so good. Please do make it. It's so simple. If you don't like a garlic, don't worry, don't use it. But if you use my way, look it's inside. Look, it won't be so strong. But I like this garlic. Mmm! So good. Bless you, I'm going. But also I take this one with me. Arrivederci, ciao! Voi un cookie! Yeah, yeah, yeah! Yeah!